Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Cataclysmo, a sort of tower defense RTS from the creators of Moonlighter that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. In we go. All right. So, you've come to talk of Lady Iris. It's true. She has shared my fire from time to time. Sit down. Rest. I still remember that day, outside Ogar. The day I met her. The Lady Iris herself. Hello. These blasted woods are so gloomy. Why did I volunteer for this? A watchful eye will be key when exploring the old lands. Let's learn the basic camera controls. Always gotta. Alright. Let me guess. WASD. Zoom in, zoom out. Nope. Rotate with middle mouse button or E and Q. Cool. And there's the zoom in, zoom out. Gotcha. Keep moving if I'm to deliver this message. Ooh, grid based. Maybe. To move a unit, select with the left mouse button, then right click to order the desired location. Try moving the banner. Okay. Uh, okay. So kind of RTS, but on grid. I actually kind of like that a lot. If Perhaps I'm gonna be this real. Way. The more finite information of a grid i do know we're also going to be making a base like piece by piece and stuff like that and i'm curious to see how we get there from this when a unit is ordered to move a deploy marker will appear you can also select a unit by clicking its deploy marker you can alter the movement while it's still in route cool if you forget something you can always check the tutorial again from the pause menu more will be added as you play i'll try let's go down here Let's get a more top down. I can do this. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. The mist. The world's covered by beautiful. strange mist. We're lucky to have masks. Dense patches are lethal. The clouds be damned. A horror. This creature, it might have once been. Nah, don't think about it. A frogman? It's just vermin now. Kill or be killed. Sure looks like a frogman. Huh? Okay, so we can uh, select okay. all. Good deal. Deployed troops will automatically attack any horror in the range. Move closer and see. Softly. Let me think about this. Stop time by pressing space or by pressing pause at the top of the map. You can also speed up time by clicking fast forward. Okay. I can do this. Ooh. It's oh, done. you poor sap. All this trouble to find some scholar. Out we go. Well, hello I there. A camp. So this must be. Lady Iris, I bring word from Ogar. The city is. Do I look like a scholar, Herald? The lady's gone on alone. Easy for her, but... I'd best go with you to deliver your message. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> where, where to? Hmm? Deploy all selected units. Okay, uh -huh. so yeah, we can select everybody at once. Uh, okay. And move them. We got like a little uh, bomb symbol, maybe? All human troops fight from a distance. Hover over a deployed troop to view its range. Oh, okay. Each troop has its own role, strengths, and weaknesses. Lobbers can resist some physical damage, but have small attack range. Bowmen are fragile, but can target from afar. Yeah. Cool deal. Oh, uh, okay. Probably don't need to get that close. I'll try. Mm -hmm. Let's take them down from above. 
Different troops will fight better at different heights. Low ground units are good against targets at a similar height. High ground need to be at a uh, high ground. All units get attack bonuses at the right height. For example, high ground units benefit from being 5 to 10 meters higher. Try hovering on the diamond above their portrait to see their preferred height. Five or meters higher. And then Go you down. are four meters or less above. It. Okay, so you are supposed to be okay. intended to be on the same A tier. Solid plan. Mm -hmm. Or is this like how do we see how much how many meters above okay. them mm -hmm. this would be, you know? Yes. And then you can I move up this. here possibly. Mm hmm Alrighty. Moving on up. Uh huh. Yeah. You are unable to even fight from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'd have to go all the way around with you, huh? Let's carry on. I thought they were trying to set us up for like a. All right, send your bomb boy down below, and then send your archer up above. But nah, they're just uh, saying. Okay. Look at your archer, be cool. We got it there. See that ancient beacon? Only one person can light him. The lady passed through here. We need to cross. Let's check that salvage pile for something we can use. Mm -hmm. Salvage obtained. Building structures is critical to surviving in these forgotten lands. All building pieces must be selected from the build menu. Start with wooden pieces. Uh, B. Uh, right click to rotate. No, oh, day. You can recover any piece by pressing recycle button from the build menu and then left mouse on each okay they can be recycled as many times as you want and rebuilt let's get on with it it's good to know yes, you guys get no over problem. okay this is sweet especially like because i know that there's a point in which we will want to necess like not necessarily leave as much and we kind of set up a base that we like i guess i'll recycle uh how do i leave this mode bb huh? yeah I can do this. All right, there we go. We got more salvage. What a messy stairway. Structures can be built out of wooden stone pieces. Wood pieces are quick, cheap, and versatile, but not very resilient. They're ideal for reaching distant places quickly. Stone pieces are a lot stronger and ideal for building defenses, but they're heavy and require more support. A piece can only be placed where it has enough support from below. If it's just if the supporting piece is destroyed or removed, the structure may collapse. Combine materials to get the most out of your structures. All right, so we got. I mean, a little bit of a. Zoop. Boop boop. Uh, okay. Is that good to go? It is good to go. I'm just gonna hope we don't need that stuff again. Almost there. The lady should be investigating those ruins. Who is this scholar? To go alone into places like this? I can hear horrors lurking ahead. Okay, so we got I can do this. some enemies going on. Are we pause? We are. Uh, okay. I feel like if we just stand here, yeah, they're not yeah. gonna throw anything that scary at us. I'll try. So I'm just gonna go and tell our dots of the archer match up with them. Oh, there's a guy over here, too. Alright, nice and easy. Grab some scrap. I can do this. Ooh, we got ourselves a, a puzzle now. Wait, hold on. Where... Can we do, like, a little bit of a... Uh... A little bit of a dat. A little bit of a dat. I think we're good to go on that. Yes. Uh, okay. Get up there. Don't. You don't need to turn around. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. I'll try. I'll Wait, hold on. Troops have two modes of attack. They can target the closest horror or the most dangerous. You can swap between these by using their action panel. Gotcha. Makes sense. Makes I agree. Lady Iris, I bring an urgent request. Ogar expects an attack. The gates are... She listened to my message. Or pretended to listen. It didn't matter. She knew what to do. If Ogar calls, we go. All right. I win. I'm really curious to see how this uh, all comes together because I'm really liking the idea of blending the grid base with the RTS. That mixed the with base building? It's in tatters. I never thought this place would fall. What falls can rise, Harold. We need to get this settlement working again. Your citadel is your settlement's heart. It must not fall. It stores natural resources like wood, which you need to build your fortress. Settlements need other buildings to grow. You cannot place buildings such as sawmills outside the territory, but pieces such as stone bricks can be built outside these limits. Okay. We shall need wood before all else. Wood is the foundation of a settlement's economy. Build sawmills close to trees to obtain a continuous supply of wood. Constructing this will take a moment. Plentiful. We should build some steps to the sawmill while it is underway. All buildings need a clear path to your citadel. If the route to your citadel is obstructed, that building will shut down and not operate. Alrighty. Okay, so we already have a couple things sort of in progress here. I can't tell if that would be enough or not. I guess I suppose it probably would be, huh? Honestly, it just sounds fun to do it that way. So then we've got a little bit of... I was hoping that would just work like that. We'll see if this works. I'm, I am curious. I might need to do another something. I'm just trying to be minimal with it out of curiosity, right? Huh? Uh, let's get yeah. somebody over yeah. here. See if see if it works. I wouldn't be surprised if this is not good enough. We just build double stairs too. Oh. Let's go. Excellent. Minimalist. The workers are gathering wood now. Sawmill spawn workers that carry wood to the nearest storage area. For now, that's your citadel. Your workers can collect resources more speedily if you build them shorter routes. Checks out. We'll need somewhere for folk to live. Settlement needs citizens. Without a supply of citizens, you may be unable to place a new building. You can also always increase the capacity by building shacks and homesteads. Wait, do they do they just combine together Lego style? Oh no, okay. Well, I mean, kind of, okay. yeah. All right, sawmill shack. This is where people are gonna live. I think we're gonna want to put it probably far back here. Maybe. Buildings can be deconstructed the same way, freeze up any resource it is using, and refund some of the resources used to build it. I mean, a shack with a clear path to the citadel. It's got one. I just want to build what they did. I can't. It's so smoky. <laughs> oh, God. No. That can't fly. That can't fly. I don't care if I waste materials for it. There we go. 
That's just, that's what they did, so I want to do it. All buildings can be placed on top of each other, buildings, or stone pieces. I guess it needs to be finished first. Low oxygen production. I've been lied to. I've been had. Or is it because... I have no idea. Low oxygen production. What? Okay. The air here, it's stale with mist. I mean, understood. Your units and buildings need a steady supply of oxygen to survive amidst the mist. Uh, keep an eye on your oxygen production to avoid running unbreathable air. The Citadel generates a small amount, but you're going to need to build air filters to increase the production. Plentiful. Works better with empty space around it. Ideally placed above buildings to maximize performance. Ooh, that's fun. So it doesn't make sense to build another one here. Yeah, other gatherers too close. That's kind of fun, though. I like that a lot. Just popping that right on top of the building. Can we do it on top of this? Maybe if it was uh, a flat surface. Probably not going to build another thing up here, so we'll go for the plentiful. How many do we need? The world may never know. We'll build two and see what it says about oxygen production. Okay, but I really like that format. Okay. These guys are probably like, please build better stairs for me. It's so precarious to be falling. We have more work to do. Okay. To defend a citadel, you need strong walls, and for strong walls, you need stone. Some places, such as tactical pieces, wait, some pieces such as tactical pieces also require minerals. To gather these, you need to find stone or mineral deposits. A building lacks a path to the citadel. The air filter needs a path to the citadel? If it's talking about this house, it definitely has a path to the citadel. So, that... I don't know what to say, dude. You're wrong. I mean, I don't want to have to recycle it. Oh, my God. All right, let's... Let's go find some stone. Hmm? Eyes open for Ogar. Let's get uh, yeah. the other guy and okay. just send you up there. Just so they'll all meet up. It literally told me to build it on the roof. I guess we'll have to build a staircase down. I'll do that right now. Let's get uh, pieces here. A little bit of a maybe boop. And then a little bit of a badoop. That should work now. Cool. Honestly, it looks pretty cool anyways. So I don't mind that. Have we made it up there yet? We sure have. Mm -hmm. We need to build... Uh, Shack sawmill. How do we gather this? We will prevail for Ogar. I mean, cool, but how do we gather it? It was told told me to pop up there, or it? Nope. We Eyes pop up open. here. Hmm. Or if we build a path to it, is that what we need to do? Looks like we kind of already have one. Hmm. Good. Move to the marked position. They're moving. Step on it. These minerals, 
If we build a quarry here, it will gather stone for our walls. Well Ten. spotted. But our territory doesn't reach that far. At least not yet. Ah. I see, I see. A settlement's territory can be expanded with beacons, but a beacon must be built inside existing territory. I guess we'll pop it. I mean, it's going to extend out there anyways, so we don't... Anything more is a waste than, like, here. And then maybe we can get... Maybe we can get lucky and it can target something over there, too. Please don't tell me this needs to be accessible to our home base. Be wary they may attract nearby horrors. Okay. Excellent. Our territory now extends to the stone deposit. Let's start gathering. Moving to quick. Build a quarry to obtain stone and minerals. Depends on how much of the resources nearby is how effective. Medium. You yeah, know, that's probably the best we're going to get. And it's literally just designed for it here, so... Okay, just need to make sure that the door is actually moving towards our base. Speed it on up. Anything else we should do in the meantime? Okay, that is reaching back home. Oxygen is perfect. We are producing so much more than we're using. Now, let's rebuild those walls. More walls? It's true, we have plenty of stone, but... Higher stone walls have more health and last longer under attack. The taller a wall, the tougher it is. This is called toughness, and it makes stone pieces essentially defensive building blocks. When a stone structure toughness increases, you'll see its appearance change slightly. Toughness can be increased up to three times. In short, high walls are healthy walls. Let's make sure these new walls stand firm. Okay. So that's... Okay, that's really fun. The stone pieces, when we build them like this... They become something different, we could basically. Use some sort of passage through our new structure. Hell no. We could use some traps around our walls. Hell no. Horrors cannot travel. Okay, you're telling me. I want to try and read that one. Traps can be set up to damage approaching horrors. They're handy, but are not cheap and will break permanently after some use. Cool. I will do that, but I guess I should get a door. Can I just pop it right in? Maybe I'll need to, uh... Alright. High health. Arch. Probably want a door. Boom. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna hope that that's just good for now, and we'll do some traps. I don't know, man. They showed them like this. They are not cheap. But let's get some more walls for the time being. Awkward. Tactical pieces are special pieces that provide benefits or defenses to units. They have different effects. Combining these in clever ways will help you with your war against the horrors. Place them thoughtfully. Your units need to be close to them to gain the benefits during a battle. Uh, stone cover that boosts the range of any unit behind it. Corner piece that boosts the range of any unit behind it. Cool. I feel like we're going to want to... Um, a, pause. B, go for a little bit of that. Looks like they're giving me the suggestion of probably like putting a couple up here like this perhaps seems to be the not so subtle suggestion i do want to just like finish up exactly what they have i mean i feel like we may be going a little ham with it but i i have to 
it's just too satisfying to look at to just, to just get it right you know oh juicy juicy uh oh uh oh uh oh no i had it i had it bring it back to me sure there we go I, I beefed it. Oh, that's... Oh, it's so nice to see it get fixed up. Oh, game, come on. You gave me this. You gave me this one. Oh, that's a scenery piece. It won't let me fix it up. It won't let me do it right. How dare you? Unplayable game. Hmm. Interesting. It seems like... Maybe it'd be better if we built it up even higher, but I'm gonna... Insufficient stone. Yeah, I'm gonna tap it out there. So we're still gonna be mining more stone. Banners increase the base attack damage of a nearby unit. So we have one down there. What's the radius on it? Pretty small. Pretty, pretty small. Okay, and then we're gonna need to get a way to get up there. And I can't tell if we have one. I'm going to take a wild stab and say no. Is there a quick way to select my units? One does that. Two does that. Is there not a quick way to just select units? Maybe not. Uh, oh, well. For now, I will go ahead and build a couple banners. They want it in this area. But won't I want to put people on the walls? Am I kooky crazy or what? Just do that for a second. Maybe, I don't know. We'll probably not be able to walk around it and then we'll have to just break it. But for science, because I kind of want to get the attack boost and the range boost. Doesn't that just seem a little bit more logical? That's a pretty good one. But it doesn't count as being placed in the area. That sucks. I wonder if it is range agnostic. My guess is no. As you progress through the game, more tactical pieces will be added. Use them thoughtfully to maximize your defenses. A pretty wall counts for nothing if no one is manning it. Let's go. Okay, give me a button to pick them quickly. Uh, build your defenses in a way that benefits both high and low ground troops. Lady Iris does not have any high ground or low ground bonuses, but she will learn special attacks called arts as she grows in skill. Citizens. Apply tactical buffs to units. Units. Eyes open. That's get right. up. Get up, get in here. Okay, so now we can see yes. mm -hmm. if I can get you up here or not. Okay. Correct the uh that does indeed block it. I don't see any clean way of getting you up here. So I think I have to build one. Could be wrong, perhaps? Yeah, no. Oops. Alright, you get, get up here. And then I'm assuming you can't move past the... Uh, correct. Alright, so what we'll do is... Probably... How, how'd you get this over here? Okay, you extend it out like that. Man, what's that piece? I want that piece. Do I have it? I don't. Interesting. But we could just do like a little bit of a... Actually. Correct thing would probably be... Uh, to do a half one. It's this is so jank looking. Uh hmm. We could do something like this. It's a little bit weird. I don't like the way it looks, but it does actually work very effectively for what we are looking to do. And then we can um 
Yes, I'll try. Get the benefit. Theoretically, we get the range up while standing behind it. Yep, correct. It'd probably be better to just, like... In hindsight, do something more like... A way that builds up there. Like... Like a little bit of this. <laughs> it looks terrible, but <laughs> it's fine. It to it totally does work. And then we'll get the banner for the extra boost there, even though it also doesn't look the best. But you should be getting the boost, right? You're getting two boosts. Is there a way I can see? We're getting the range up. Are you getting the damage up too? Yes, you have two boosts. Good deal. Yeah. I don't know if you can get this boost or not. You're going to try and get there. It's not going to work. But if I just put yeah. you here, I guess it works. Those we should have our three boosts. Won't reach us so easily now. Can you even reach? Don't be so sure. A little Night bit. Arrives, and our rebuilding efforts have attracted them. Take positions. Okay. Where are they coming from? Horrors are attracted to human settlements and attack frequently. Swarms attack every night, but scattered horrors can sometimes also attack in daylight. Generations of defenders have learned to anticipate the direction and force of incoming swarms by hovering over the red icon. You can see what enemy, what kind of enemy is expected and how big the swarm will be. Cool. The night is nearly here. Okay. When the compass is full, they will approach. Hover over these to see the expected. Yes, sir. Few. A few amount of enemies from that direction. I would say... You need the range buff more. Ideally, I want to have like a... A way to... Um, so much of your range. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then now you got a better range buff theoretically. Mm -hmm. That's your range? Dang, man. Should be good to go. When are they showing up? When are you punks showing up, huh? A little fast forward. I'm ready for it. We have so much time to prepare. So much time that I could maybe even, like, fix my dumb banner situation, but, like, I could fix it, but make it look even stupider at the same time. Okay. Get the buff. Let's get the banner theoretically behind is a little bit more effective. And then we shall rotate that to fix it up there. Alright. There. Now everybody up there gets the buff. It looks... D d <laughs> very dumb but uh it's effective this is maximizing all of our buffs approach me cowards this is game is sick by the way reminds me of like a like an rts more rts focused last spell which is a game that i love can we, like, uh, force them to show up faster? I'm on fast-forward mode right now. It's like... I mean, you already had me set them up. We didn't need it. We didn't need the extra time, right? All right. Oh, I'm very excited to see this in action, though. Because there is a chance that we... do take some smackins. Okay, they're probably going to run into my spikes... Cool deal. Oh. Get bodied. We won, but this was only a bite at our ankles. They're testing us. You have no idea, Ogardin. Prepare for more conflict. After surviving the first night, the horrors know your location. During the day, they're not very active, but they will still make probing attacks on the Citadel, so keep watch at your walls. Hiding won't be enough to survive the night. We have I to mean, put up a fight. We'll certainly need to um, 
put something over there. Without a strong army, it's only a matter of time before the fiends break through your walls. It is the order of a Hogar's duty to train men and women to defend against the horrors of the mist. Troops are trained in the military barracks. Uh, you can also... The number of troops is limited by your military capacity. It's increased as the settlement develops. Cool. Uh, but, 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 but. Not enough citizens. We need 15 citizens. So we're going to need some more shacks. All right. Let's do a little bit of a... You know, we'll just have them facing in that way. Is this fine? It should be fine. I don't love what's going on here, though. Do we need more oxygen per person or something? Or... Don't know if that's a thing. Similarly, do we immediately get citizens the second we build these houses? We do. <laughs> Dang. Them people busy. So I can make this barracks. Oh, oh my lord, please stop. Hmm. Feels like there's gotta be a better place. Like, I mean, the fact that we could just build over it is pretty fun. It's kind of blocking a lot of space. Like, I like that you can use the buildings as part of what you, uh, you know, use to get around the base. I don't love this location, but we're pretty cramped in here. I'm hoping to God this is enough room. It, like, it wouldn't have let me do it if it... Okay, With the good. barracks ready, we can start training troops. Uh, leather bow grip, increase the damage per bowman... Health per labor units. Improves the range and line of sight for all units trained in the barracks. We'll do that. And then, hell, let's just get some more archers. Should probably get some of both. Train that up. Alright, and then we're going to want to fix up over here, because this does not have any defenses. Mm -hmm. It could hit up here. I do wonder... My question right now is, does this buff up units that would be here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is that based on height or nah? Where, where to? You paused? Okay, good. All right, so now let's go for a little bit of this. No, same. I think we do the same deal. I actually, as dumb as this looks, it's a very effective way to cover lots of space. And then we have the even dumber thing over here of going for this. So we get the banner behind them so that they all get that buff. The hell is this about, too? Like, also, why are we even... Why is that even there? So we're protected over here. Fine. If we just put some units. This... I don't even know if we can be attacked from this side. Do we just block it off? LOL. Uh, Just in case. I say sure. Looks like we got quite a bit of stone. How is that? Oh, it's like, uh, oh, you see that? It's kind of protected by like a stone or like a metal, a little metal thing there. All right. Like the barracks, we got uh, a couple archers. Up high, please. Mm hmm send him there. I could send him here, too. It wouldn't be a big deal. Yes. Where, where to? Uh, okay. Oops. 
Wait, you can walk along this? What? Yeah. I didn't know they could walk along it. They just can't stand on it. Oh, that's really good information. Oh, man. That's really good intel. <laughs> huh? Still, this isn't bad then. It just means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just have seven slots for units. It's hardly a bad situation. Another couple more. We don't know where the they're going to be yet. Here. Okay, they're going to be over here. We now know where they're going to be. Hmm. Hmm. I can do this. Yeah, good. In fact, yeah, we're good to go. You get over. Hello, hello, shine. lady. Thank you. These are still. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you guys are screwed. You guys are screwed. The question is, do they send probing attacks? Well, it's nighttime. Because then I'd be upset. Okay, we can't get any more people. We're at our military capacity? Five. Five recruited. Max 20. But it's not letting me. Okay, now it's letting me build more. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Let's go already. Gotcha. A solid plan. Do they uh, require any kind of like upkeep? They have a flat cost. Low yes. oxygen production. Okay, they have an oxygen cost. That's fine. Yes. That's a pretty easy thing to yeah. fix up. Doesn't look like they can approach from anywhere else except for those two sides, but you know, maybe we'll be wrong. Maximum health. Ooh. Ooh, my. Okay, they're, they're a little bit scarier. They're a little bit scarier. If you think you're ready for the next swarm, you can skip ahead to the moment they arrive. Click trigger next wave to do so. Okay, so we do have the ability to do that. Uh, Where does one find where, that? Where Probably this, yeah. You know, could we handle it? Yeah, probably. We need the more oud. I can't build any more up here. Not enough resources nearby. Low resources nearby. Yeah, I think we might be, like, capped. The fact that we have two. I mean, we can get one. How much are these getting? Like, 30 per minute? Yeah. The fact that we have a apparently a low citizens. oxygen production. Cost a citizen to get another one of those going, so I guess I will get yet another uh, shack a-going. I do kind of want to, like, build it in a way where... Eh, no. They kind of have to be on top of the house. It just sounds funny. Is that mean? Maybe. Does that block them in? Apparently not. I wish this was facing backwards. I just wanted to be cute. I'm going to do it. I'm going to destroy the house just to have it... So I can put two side by side there. All right, and then we can build Not enough resources. an air filter soon-ish. Not that we—it doesn't look like we even need it. We have an income. We have an income of forty-three. I don't know why it says we have low production. I mean, we only kind of do. We're still gaining. I don't know, dude. I wouldn't call being in the green negative. Plentiful, plentiful. 
Should I pop it on the house? I guess I'll pop it on the house. We'll just need to um, do another staircase shenanigan. Which is fine. That's kind of fun to do. Alright, so there's the oxygen production. Should we make more people? Can we make more people? We need more wood. We'll just fast forward. Can I, like, uh, I wish I could queue it up so that when it's ready. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Up high, oh, they're going. Okay. And they don't need to. Up high, please. We got archer. We should have yeah. archers over there. Mm -hmm. The archers can hit uh, both sides from that spot. Okay. Okay. Should I skip ahead? Let's get one more bowman. Screw it. The night is nearly here. They basically begged me to. They basically begged me to. Okay, so we're being attacked from both now. Uh, let's set the rally point to here for when it's done. Okay. Seems like a reasonable amount are showing up. Did they bait me into my death? I feel like these uh, cost... Yeah, they... Unsurprisingly, they cost um, <laughs> that. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Bring them on. Huh? It should be all right. Probably. Probably copium. Um. Should we set up a damage buff? Yeah, range boost. Range boost, damage boost. Do you do more damage than the others? Eyes open. As uh, the special Hogar bow yes. Bowman. Yes. Its reinforcement will not use any oxygen. Good to know. Trigger the next wave. I think we're fine. What could possibly go wrong? Ready to battle. Take position. Train the man. Um. Woo, Nelly. Should I get a bomber boy? The bomber boys are pretty solid, though. Like, I keep on getting a bunch of archers when... And then they're throwing, like, super good AoE at me. These guys is probably going to be better to have archers than bombers. Where, where to? I mean, we got big chunkin' walls. Okay, they're throwing a lot at you on purpose. Under attack. Under attack? I, you know, I hate to say I think we've been under attack for a while. Ooh. It looks like this is kind of like the grand finale of the demo here. Oh, no. The fact that they're here is actually a problem. Can we, um... I wonder if we can build this during. Because th these walls actually may get a little bit bloodied. Yeah, under attack. I know we're under attack. What do you mean? Let's go already. Let's go already. I mean, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Up high, please. Just gonna assume that that'll work. That's some jank. How do they? I guess they just can walk through there. It just doesn't matter to them. Oh. What? How did you break that wall? What a strange thing. I mean, the good news is we have just so much stone. 
horrors are too close to build. Can we like, um, hey, uh, lobbers? Let's go. Where it makes Apparently, sense. I just need you guys like here, because these guys can't see. Oh God. Mm -hmm. I'll try. They're stuck up there because they broke the wall piece there. Destination. Yep, yep, I hear you. This one guy is just oh, chilling. Okay. I hate this, but like, it looks like it's fine. I can do this, yes. That sucked. <laughs> Yet, we won. I didn't realize we would have that issue. Victory. That it is a, it was the grand finale. If it wasn't for the fact that those enemies were literally just untargetable because of the positioning, I mean, we would have been fine. Uh, but hey, that's something you would learn over time. I didn't know that, that there was line of sight. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Very spooky thing. Uh, this game is so cool. It's wild. That night, Iris defended the city gates from the horrors of the mist. With her peers in the order, our sworn defenders. This was not the first time Ogar stood against its enemies. Thirty years before that night, while the Order was once again fighting for their families, for all of us, a quiet sound began that would change our history. In the heart of Ciudad Ogar, surrounded by the thickest walls of the Ivory Peak, a baby cried in the street. And when the Perla scholars opened their door, there she was. A little miracle, an abandoned baby girl. So small and fragile, so human, and yet so special. Between her tiny arms, a perla embedded in her chest. You already know, a perla is not a trivial thing. You could die just by touching one. You could go mad, as others have done. We have forgotten so much about these objects since ancient times. And yet here was an infant with one of these things inside her. Imagine the confusion she caused. She'll die without us. One looked on in silence. And when she stepped forward, all arguments ceased. She carries a perla, yes, but also a book. Rectora Elena. She always seemed to understand things others could not. Do we not value knowledge? The child is a beacon. Bring her in. Call her... Enis. So, the scholars of the Ivory adopted the girl as their own child. And she grew like any other. Slowly, but steadily. Always carrying her book filled with stories from the past. But Iris was not any other child. At 16, she was able to perform artes, something that usually requires a lifetime to master. As soon as the scholars allowed it, she became a chief defender of the city. And what does a good defender do when an attacker becomes too bold? She plays it smart. She goes in search of answers among the trees beyond the walls into the forest, where life is hard, and every garrison is fragile. If we had known what she would come to face, Ciudad Ogar would have shut all doors and windows, and for the first time in centuries, prayed. Well, all... Right, that has to be the end of the demo. Yes. Uh, the game's cracked. It's so good. It's so good. Like, I I don't know what to say. I It's a really, really good combination of a lot of different quality of life from different genres. Combining them into a way that feels really good and has a lot of player expression with how you're going to build out your city. 
you can do some really fun stuff with different um, types of height. Yes, I know I had my bombers on the walls. They could have been lower, got more damage, yada, yada. Like, there's ways you could have that set up differently, and it could be really cool. Uh, but the, that's the thing, is the fact that there are a lot of mistakes you can make means that there's a lot of player expression, and that is a good thing. Um, and, man, it's just a banger. It's just a banger. It's going to be super good. I really think so. Uh, this is going on my wish list for sure. Link in the top description. Check it out. My name is Rachimation. I cover indie games every single day, every single day, <laughs> with an extra specialty, typically in roguelikes and roguelites. But I like myself a turn-based tactics game. I like myself a tower defense game. I, you know, fancy myself an RTS from time to time. And hey, this is a good game. This is a good game. Go check it out. Uh, that's just it. My name is Rachimation. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.